Hi, I'm the number one hazard and today I'm going to be doing a two-part tutorial on Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition on creating a basic login form and a custom login form. Uh, part one is going to include the basic login form creation and part two is going to include the custom login form creation. So I'm just going to get stuck into this because I only have a 10 minute time limit. It won't take that long, but just saying what it's going to do is going to. So basically Microsoft Visual Basic is um, available in three editions. Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. The second edition is Visual Studio 2008 Express Edition. And the third edition is Visual Studio 2008 Professional Edition. So those three editions are all available free from the Microsoft website, I'm pretty sure. I know Express Edition is, and um, uh, you also get a free registration as long as you have a Windows Live ID. So that's either Hotmail or Windows Live, or I mean that's free as well. So we have to do sign up for that. So um, this program is great for programming, programming programs. So um, if you get my point, Visual Basic is a program that programs programs meaning that it uses the C and C++ programming language to do that. So I'm going to get stuck into this. So after you've installed Visual Basic, which is about a you know, 65 meg to 150 meg download, depending on what your actual computer has, um, it'll load. So that actually loaded pretty quick. So um, basically, this is the start page, as you can see up here with the little tabs. So um, this is your toolbox. Toolbox is very handy. It's very, very handy. Get used to it. So, um, basically, the first thing you want to do is create a new project, either by clicking File New Project or by clicking this little New Project button here, or Create Project. So, we click on the New Project button, and as you can see, there's five different install templates to choose from. The Windows Form application, you want to get used to that. That is the best one that you can use. There's all different other ones that you can use, but Windows Forms application is the one that's used to create a lot of programs. So you want to change the name to it. I'm going to call it Basic Login Form. And so I'll put it that. So I'm going to click OK. So it takes a little bit to load because it has to create the actual program, everything else. Okay, this is Form 1. So form one, I never use form one. I tell you, I never use form one. There is a problem with form one. And the problem is, is that whenever you use form one, somehow it disappears. So I don't know why or how it disappears, but it just does. So I always create a second form to use as my first one. So um, once you click the new item button, which is up here, then you've got a whole different choices to choose from. So the Windows form is the one that you want to choose, so click add. And this will obviously add in your second form. So form one, you can actually right click it and click close if you want. And now I've got form two back. So I'm just gonna bring it out a bit. You can drag it easily. Um, I might add in a button. I'm gonna move this button over here. I'm gonna make it bigger and center it and I'm going to call it once you go over to the properties thing here, you go down to where it says text, and I'm going to call it awesome. And that's your button, so at the moment it's not pointing anywhere, so I'm just going to quickly create another form, which is form 3, and there's form 3, so form 3 is doing nothing either. So form 2, where it says this button, double click on it. This will open up the coding as you see. So private sub, underneath that, you want to click form 3 dot show and hit save, which is control S. So that's just um, saving where form 2 goes, which goes to form 3. So save that as well. And here's form 2 with a little button. So now we want to get stuck into creating the login form. So that's pretty easy, you just go into the login form, this is the basic one by the way, the pre-installed template. So now that you've got this, you'll see username and password boxes, you can add more in, you can take some out, um, it's up to you. So I'm just going to double click on the OK button, you need to. And where it says me.close, get rid of that. That just means that whenever you click the button, it'll close. 
which it doesn't need to. So now I'm now type in the following code that I type in. If user if username text box dot text space equals space bracket quotation mark example which is your username quotation mark bracket and password text box dot text space equals space bracket quotation mark example which is your password remember it's case sensitive quotation mark bracket then from here you want to type in form oh sorry yes form two which is your main one dot show hit save enter me dot close hit save enter else type in else like so and hit enter this means that in case something goes wrong this is the else bit so else message box dot text oh sorry message box dot show and no space just put in a bracket with a quotation mark and type in wrong username or password please try again again this can be up to you what you want to do and now type in note username and password is case sensitive full stop quotation mark bracket I have to be quick about this okay and now you go enter and type in password text box dot text space equals space bracket quotation mark quotation mark bracket and now hit save so that just means that whatever was in the password box disappears so that's pretty easy so now that we've done that we are now going to have to go to project and the form properties meaning because it needs to start up using the right form so we need to make it so the startup form is login form 1 so I'm going to do this quick and I'm going to hit save and I'm going to click the play button which is start debugging you can also hit F5 or go to debug and click start debugging so here we are it loads up your login form so now type now type in something random and if you hit OK oops, if you hit OK it will not do anything it'll say wrong username or password blah 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 so you have to type in the right one and as you can see it gets rid of the password box so now type in your username which is example as I did it and example and if you click OK it'll load up form 2 and then close it because it's not going anywhere so that is your basic login form on Visual Basic and look out for part 2 which I'm going to be creating and have an awesome day guys see ya